Today we're going to be learning about how clouds form, and I think the easiest way to do that is just to make one for ourselves. And the good news is that's pretty easy to do. All I've got here is a two liter bottle, a clear bottle with a little bit of rubbing alcohol in the bottom. I've got the bottle capped with a valve stem and I've got a bicycle pump here. So what I'll do is I'll give the pump a couple of pumps, two or three, we don't want too many, just enough to really increase the pressure in that bottle. Then we're gonna take the valve stem and pull it off. As you can see, as soon as the plug is pulled, a cloud immediately forms inside the bottle. That's because pulling the plug drops the pressure in the bottle and allows the air inside to expand, which cools it down. It gets so cool that the rubbing alcohol condenses, forming a cloud. That's very similar to what we see happening in nature. We have generally warm air near the ground that rises, and as it rises, it expands and it cools, and eventually it cools down enough that the water vapor in the air condenses, and a cloud forms. Another interesting thing about this experiment is it works in reverse. If we've got the cloud already in the bottle and we begin to pump it, we'll see that the cloud disappears. The cloud disappears because the air is being condensed and is warming up and therefore no longer saturated. Brandon Michaels, 23ABC, Connecting You.